Hello everyone and welcome to Everyday Seminar. Um, today we're going to be going over probability theory again, but before we move on to today's topic, let's go through the question we had during our last lesson. Now we had assumptions, 10 out of 1,000 women aged 40 who participate in a routine screening have breast cancer. 800 out of 1,000 women with breast cancer will get positive tests. So that's 80% of the women with breast cancer get a positive, therefore 20% get a negative. They have a negative test. 95 out of 1,000 women with breast cancer will also get positive tests. So no breast cancer, 95 positive, so 9.5% will also get a positive, therefore 90.5% get a negative test. Okay. Now the problem, if 1,000 women in this age group undergo a routine screening, about what fraction of women with positive tests will actually have breast cancer? So what they're asking for is the total of all women with was this a positive test divided by those who actually have breast cancer. So breast cancer women with a positive test out of the total women with positive test. Okay, so this can also include those who don't have breast cancer but have a positive test. Okay, now, so the solution to this problem has a lot to do with false positives, false negatives, or true positives, and true negatives. So therefore, before the screening of 1,000 women, 10 will have breast cancer, and 990 women without breast cancer, so no breast cancer, 10 women, 990. Now, after the screening, 8 women with breast cancer and positive test two women with breast cancer and negative test. Remember we had 80% will have a positive and 20% will have a negative. So 80% times 10, that's eight people. And 20% uh, times 10, that's two people with a negative test. Now C, women without breast cancer and positive test. Remember we had 9.5%. Uh, so 9.5% times 990 will have a positive, and that's 94 women out of the 990, and therefore we had 90.5% will have a negative, and that becomes 896. So that times that, 896 women will have a negative test and no breast cancer. So the proportion of cancer patients with positive results within the group of all patients with positive results. So everyone with a positive result, 94 and 8, 94 plus 8, or 8 plus 94, and the women with a positive result and breast cancer, only 8, therefore 8 divided by 102, so 7.8% of women with positive, with positive results also have breast cancer. Okay, let's move on to today's topic. So today's uh, math lesson topic with Everyday Seminar is probability theory again. And today we're going to be doing um, an application problem of Bayes' theorem. In fact, this is one of the most important uh, problems in statistics, very famous, the Monty Hall problem. Key terms for today, the Monty Hall problem, uh, Bayes' theorem, and um, I thought I'd add a host or a presenter. Let's move on. Okay, so the famous Monty Hall problem. You are given a choice between three doors, red, green, and blue. Behind one door is a car, and behind the other two are goats. So, for example, say you pick the red door. Now, the host knows where the car is, but is supposed to open a door without the prize. The host opens the green door and the goat is behind it. So the host goes, okay, you choose the red door, 
So he opens the green door and it's a goat. Now, the host asks you, or you are given the option to change your choice to blue. So the host goes, there's a goat behind green. Do you want to stay with red or change to blue? Should you switch to the blue door or stay with the red door? That's the question. Okay, the method, use Bayes' rule, Bayes rule to solve. So he, he has Bayes' theorem, Bayes' rule that we did um, in our last lesson. Now Bayes' rule says, so the probability of the prize being in the red door, given that the host has chosen green, is equal to the probability that the host chooses green, given that the prize is in the red door, multiplied by the probability of the prize being inside the red door, all of that divided by the prize that the host uh, opens the green door. Okay, kind of complicated. And the question is, what is the probability that the car is behind the blue door, given that the presenter chose to open the green door? Okay, so here we have our, uh, our terms or variables. The probability of the prize being in the red door, given that the host picks green. Here, PG given PR, probability of host picking green if the prize is in the red door. Probability of the prize being in the red door. And P bracket G, P of G, probability of the host picking green. Okay, let's move on. So, some things I'd like to mention. The probability of the car being in the red door is 1 over 3. The probability of the prize being the red door is 1 over 3, right? There are three doors and you chose the red. The probability was 1 in 3. This is the same as the probability of the car being behind any other door. Similar relationships can be set up for the other probabilities. Again, Bayes' theorem. So, the solution to this. Now, assuming the host has no bias, the probabilities break down like this. If the car is behind the red door, then the host can pick blue or green to open, right? Therefore, the probability of the host picking the green door, and the pri given that the prize is in red, is equal to the host, the, pro the prize being the pro <laughs> is equivalent to the probability of the host picking the blue door and the prize being in the red door. So it's one half, okay? We had a green or blue, it's a half. If the car is behind the green door, then the host would have to pick the blue door. So the probability of the, of the host choosing the green door, and given that the probability of the prize being in the green door, oh, damn it, do it again. Three, two, one, action. So the solution, assuming the host has no bias, the probabilities break down like this. If the car is behind the red door, then the host can pick blue or green to open. Okay, here it shows that the probability of the host picking the green, given that the, the prize is in the red door, is the same as the probability of the host picking blue with the prize being in the red door. So that's a half, okay? He could have chosen uh, green or blue, half. If the car is behind the green door, then the host would have to pick the blue door. So the probability of the prize being in the green door is zero, right? Because he opened the green door and there's a goat, so it can't be in the green door. If the car is behind the blue door, then the host would have to pick the green door. So the probability of the host uh, picking the green door with the prize being in the blue door is one. It's an absolute. Okay, so the solution here, the probability of the host picking the green is equal to P of G multiplied by P of G given P of B plus this value. First of all, just to make it simple, we have the probability of the host picking the green door, and here's the one-third here. So what we do is we multiply each of these one-thirds by the chances of the probability of it being in green, given the fact that the prize is in the red door. And the second one is the probability given choosing green with it being in green. And lastly, we have the probability of the host choosing green and the probability of the 
uh, what do you call it, the car being in blue. So probability of a host choosing green, and we have the red, green, and blue car. Okay, so we multiply each of these by the probability of the host opening the green door, one-third times one, one-third times zero, and one-third times half, and we're given a half. Now what does that mean? We'll see shortly. So, probability calculations using Bayes' theorem. Now what we've done out here is uh, we've looked at each scenario. So we have uh, the host opening the green door, and now what's the probability of it being in the red, green, or blue door? So we take each of these values from the slide before, right here, and then we insert them here, and what do we get? One third, the probability of it being in the green door is zero. We know that because he opened the green door, and the probability of it being in the blue door is two thirds. So what do you see? There's a better chance of the car being in the blue door, given the fact that he opened green. So he opened green, the probability of it being green is zero, probability of it being in red is one over three. So there's a better chance, this is greater than one over three, red, so there's a better chance of the car being in the blue door. Let's have a look at this. Let's take a further look at this. What do we have? So, where's the car? Looking at the odds behind the red door, still remains one third. Okay, behind the green door, impossible, because he opened the green door. Behind the blue door, your chances are better, two thirds. So, the odds say that you should switch your pick every time. So if the host opens the green door, says you want to stay with red or go with blue, you should change, you should switch, choose blue. Now here's a very good, for some people it's easier to look at it this way. What I've done here is, I've put all the possibilities in one table, okay? So say if the car was behind the red, and then another second scenario, the first scenario, second scenario, third scenario, second one, if if, okay, if the door was behind green, and the last scenario, if it was behind the blue door. So this is a result if you stay, stay with the same door, or if you switch, if you switch doors. So here's what happens, if the car is behind red, if you stay with the same door, the chance of a car is one of three, but if you switch two cars, one go, you have a better chance Okay, if you change or switch your door, you have a better chance of getting a car. Okay. So, I hope that was useful to everyone. Um, and here's today's quiz. This is another very popular, um, how do we say, probably a trivia question, a probability question. There are three boxes, each with one drawer on each side. Okay, well actually not not on each of the two sides, I should leave this picture, there are two drawers. Each drawer contains a coin. One box has a gold coin on each side, one a silver coin on each side, and the other gold coin on one side, and a silver coin on the other side. Basically, one box has two gold, one, another box has two silver coins, and one box has one gold and one silver. Now, a box is chosen at random. A random drawer is opened, and a gold coin is found inside it. So what is the chance of the coin on the other side being gold? Or if I find one gold, if I close my eyes, pull a coin out of a box, it's gold, what's the chance that the other coin inside the box is also gold? Okay, and we'll go through that next week. Thank you very much for joining us today with Everyday Seminar. Have a great day.